God said, break the rules of man. When you find yourself in a place, when you find yourself in a place, when you experience the things that you don't believe, God's air. <laughs> It takes only God's help for Joseph to be the prime minister in Egypt. It takes only God's help for Esther to become the queen. She became the queen in the foreign land. It takes God's help for Daniel to be relevant for 60 years. It takes God's help for the three who was not to see the, not to see death. When God's help surface, man's shame, all right, if man's will be covered. When your wrong is being trivialized and your achievement is being amplified, that is when God's help. When your wrong is being trivialized, why your help, why your Achievements being magnified or amplified, that is when you know God's help is in place. So, in these three days, it is season for our divine help. Somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is season for our divine help. Remember, today is the 14th day of our prayer and fasting, and the first day is our Thanksgiving. So we have done three modules, four three modules, we break everything down. We are about to start the fifth one right now. And the focus of the fifth module we are starting today is day one of the three modules is divine help season. When the things that you are not qualified for, that's what you get. Amen. When the things that people think, no, it will never get you, you are the one that will get it. Amen. Many people who are qualified will be redirected somewhere. Amen. But you, you will get it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, I will look up to the hill, to heaven. Where comes my help? My help will not come from the government of my country. Neither does it come from my congressman or my senator. No. My help does not come from my husband. Neither does it come from my wife. It does not come from my children. Neither does it come from my friend. My help comes from the Lord. I pray God will help you. Amen. God will help you. Amen. God will help you. Amen. So wherever you are around the world, when you know you qualify something and you don't get it, that means you mean God's help is not in place. When God's help is in place, even when you don't qualify, you will make the list. When God's help is in place, let me tell you something. Esther is she's not she's not the most beautiful lady that night. The king had gave his dream, but nobody could interpret. Many people have been making kings. He said, King, please give us time. They said no. When Daniel sent somebody to the king, he said, King, please give us time. They listen. When God's help suffers. All your word will be acceptance. But if I put it right, accepted. When God's head surface in your life, all your word will be accepted. That is why some of the scriptures we read yesterday about Samuel and about Jesus. They say, hey, they find favor with God and with what? With men. Somebody shout hallelujah. Isaiah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Isaiah. Lift up your right and say, Divine help is my portion. Divine help is my portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 22. I want to show you something. When God's help you, you'll be surprised. When men come to your head, it's because God has sent his help your way. Let it be written. When men Keep coming to your head. You want to hate help? Then that means God has sent his help your way. First 
Gospel, Luke chapter 12, verse 22. Listen to this. Everybody, let me put it out there. He said, For at that time, day by day, at that time. So listen, God's earth is infinity. Mm. At that time, day by day. Hey! Zilebraki Kotashatan. At that time, day by day. In this three days, three days, I want you to wrap yourself around this scripture. In these three days, wrap yourself around First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 22. <laughs> For at that time, day by day, you see, not week by week, every day, there came to David to help him. There came to David to what? To help him. Like I said, when men come to your head, it's because God has sent his head, what? Your way. Right now, I make a decree. As we step into this new week, starting from today, this week is your week of divine help. Amen. Men will come to support you even when you don't need their support. Amen. Men will come to give you gifts even when you don't need it. Amen. God's visibility and divine help will be suffered all around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you move forward, you will receive God's help. Amen. If you move backward, you will receive His help. Amen. If you move to the right, to the left, you will receive His help. Amen. At the center of your life, you will receive God's help. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, listen. Why must you get God's help every day? He said, day by day, death came to David to help him. He continued, he said, until it was a great host. Another version said, until it was a great army. That means, David received help to the extent that, you see, they are now comparing David's help with that one of heaven. You see, like the host of God. Every man will leave their job to come and say, David will join the army. No pay. They don't know how he's going to give them money for food. They were just finding it for way to help him. I make a decree. This week is the week of your help. Amen. This week, I want to start with my prayer, that prayer. Lord, help me all around this week. Help me all around. Help my help. Help my marriage. Help my children. Help whatever I do. Oh Lord, this week, help me. 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 Little Sabria Cato Shabale Cato de Beritaba. Agento Zulem Blina Jo Shabale Cato de Beritaba. Oh Lord, this week, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Lucky to Shabi and Blanky Cato Shabale. If you wake up in the morning, you will receive them. Amen. If you go out, you will receive them. Amen. In the afternoon, you will receive them. Amen. At night, you will receive them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the help of God come over me. Amen. The help of God come to my life. The help of God come to my life. The help of God is come to my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Take your seat. Receiving divine help for the next level is what I try to distribute this. Receiving divine help for the next level. For you to experience God's next level, you must be help. You cannot be by yourself. Why must you be help? Because what happened? They are giants in the way. But when God help you, what happened? Man, you will look like you are the best. There is no one that is qualified for the best except God's help. Look at Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Say, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. God is speaking. He said, I will strengthen you and help you. I will underline that place. Strength comes with help. You can't receive God's help and still be
be living below standard. There is help with strength. Strength with help. Help with strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will never go down again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything needed for you to display that thing that God has ordained for your life, receive just such a right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, I will strengthen you and I will help you. He continued, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. God cannot lie. Let God alone be true, all men liars. <laughs> Look at it. First Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. First Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Chen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hinato, this far has the Lord helped me. Has the Lord helped us. Right now, you have looked back last week. As we are launching ourselves this week, you will say Ebenezer. Amen. In your education, you will say Ebenezer. Amen. In your marriage, you will say Ebenezer. Amen. Over your children, the ministry God has not given to you, you will say Ebenezer. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said, He that all God has helped me. He me. God has helped me. Beniyote poto. Despite the number of people in the world, God, when God remembers you, then God helps you. God's remembrance is the secret to God's help. God's remembrance is the secret to God's help. God's remembrance is the secret to God's help. Leruka Brandi Katosha Nabala. God's remembrance is the secret of God's head. In that all, God has helped me. God will help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody saying to me, why do I need help? I don't think I need that help. Who tells you that you need help? Say to yourself, you need God's help. I need God's help. I need God's help. I need God's help. Should I tell you why? Two, two, two scriptures, don't forget it. Psalm 108, verse 12, and, uh, and Psalm 60, verse 11. Psalm 108, verse 12, and Psalm 60, verse 11. The Bible said, both scriptures almost said the same thing. Ah, vain is the help of man. Vain is the help of man. Vain is the help of man. Your parents cannot help you. Your pastor cannot help you. Your husband cannot help you. The government of your country cannot help you. Hey, vain is the help of man. Get it? <laughs> I was in Lagos, Nigeria a long time, I think 2005 or 2006. Uh, I was working in LLNG then. I went there to go and do my industrial attachment or what they call it. Because I finished my AND. I will go back for my HL before I went to last week for my BS. So the person, one of the person that uh, we, we go to church together then, he said to me, I got to know that you do your IT at LLNG. I said, yes. He said, please, can you help me? I said, for what? He said, can you help me to submit my CD to what people in HR, HR so they can give me a contract job? And I said, sure. I know somebody that is number two of their HR. He gave me the CD. And I took the CD. The day I got to LNG, a night before that night, that day, some Aya killer went home to that number two house because I think he got some money to travel abroad to go to some courses for two weeks. So they killed him a night before I went there the next day. I just got there. Where's Mr. Pega? He said, Mr. Pega. He said, why? I just said, everybody put him there. And somebody told me that they killed him last week. That was the person that's supposed to help somebody. You can see that? But who can kill God? Who can stand against the Lord? 
No one can. No one will. Let me tell you something. Anytime you trust men for anything, you have removed God from the equation of your of the life. Write it just like that. Anytime you remove God from the equation, anytime you are trusting man extensively for the solution of your life, that means you have removed God from the equation. Anytime you are trusting man extensively, hey, say, hey, if this man cannot do it, no, 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 it's, it's not, it's not, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. That person is a dead man. Isaiah 42 verse 8. The glory of God you will never share with any graven image. God said, anytime you are trusting God extensively on the subject matter of your life, that means you have removed God from the equation. And guess what? You cannot be it. You cannot afford it. As uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 5, God said, I'm a jealous God. Vain is the help of man. Please, if you're on Facebook, type it there. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11 and I and sorry, Psalm 60 verse 11 and Psalm 108 verse 12. Facebook, YouTube, put it out there. Vain is the help of man. It is not a man that can help you. Men don't have the capacity, the ability, and the tenacity to help you. But with God. All things are possible. The availability of God brings meaning to your life. Mm. The availability of God brings meaning to your life. The awareness of God in your life brings it was decorate your destiny. Awareness of God decorates destiny. The availability of God brings meaning to life. Help me to put it out there. So, never ever settle for man. I don't call them husband, call them wife, call them children, call them boss, call them government. If you try it, you will pay the price. God will use men, but men are not the ones to execute God's business. Look up to God. Psalm 34 verse 5. And you will always be lighting. You will always be receiving revelation for, for, for knowing what else to do. There is the help of man. Psalm 60, verse 11. Psalm 108, verse 12. Look at what happened in Psalm 20, verse 2. It says, Send me air from the sanctuary. Where can we find God's air? Hmm? In the sanctuary. Every believe for that scripture is in Psalm. He said, when I enter into your sanctuary, understood I. I think it's Psalm 73 or 74, Psalm 74, just check it. I said, enter into your sanctuary and understood. Let me tell you something. Thank God. If you don't live where I live, it's good. But don't think you can just sit down at home and cross leg and respect God's miracle. The Bible says, God sent his help from his sanctuary. If you can step into the sanctuary, if I this, 17. 17, there you go. Enter into the sanctuary, until I went into the sanctuary of God. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood. Understood, I, you see? Understanding what is the secret of God's help is eating. So, write it down. The source of air is in the sanctuary. You don't go to church. The Bible said they go from strength to strength. Psalm 84, verse 7. Strength to strength. When you enter into the sanctuary on that too, understanding will come and lock your door. There are so many things I don't know. God, that idea just came, I didn't know how to figure it out. Once I enter into church, God will just tell me, pick up the phone. This is what I mean, this is what I mean. Add with, stop this, add with, give to this. If you are confused about who to 
to marry, go to church. I will not say husband is in church. I say go to church. I pray God. Expose every hidden thing to me. Reveal every hidden thing to me. What is where God's glory is bestowed upon his children? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I've never heard it like that. Is an heaven arena where God's glory is bestowed over his children. That's God. Heaven's arena where God's what? Glory is bestowed. What bestowed is given, is released. Over his children. So you don't go to church to waste time. You go to church to what? To receive God's glory. I've said it before. When Adam and Eve got to know that they are naked. God asked them, who told you that you are naked? Listen. Truly they were created physically naked. But in the realm of the spirit, they are clothed with God's glory. That is why when Moses said, God, we will not want you to go with us. God said, my glory will what? Any time you possess God's glory, you will never see shame. I decree tonight, wherever you are watching people, you will not see shame. Amen. 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 So put Psalm 73 verse 17 together with Psalm 20 verse 2. He says, send ye help from central and strengthen you out of Zion. <laughs> and when I enter into the central, understood I. You cannot be confused in Zion. Look at that same. <laughs> he said, some trust in Zion, some trust in us, but we will remember the name of the Lord. Because through the name of the Lord, Help is available. Stand up and of it. Let us try something right now. In the name of Jesus, I receive help. 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 In the name of Jesus, I receive every help needed. Oh. Lara Cabo, Saken Taban, Le Cato, Sam, Baliada, and Lero Sua Cataya Baraketa de Badaka Dadaba, a Brandi Cato Shabane, a Garabasaton de Beledabosa, Zelebra, Zalaba, a Glantu Zabida, a Glantu Zabida, a Glantu Zabida, a La Trantu Sabaracata de Badecato de Pedecata de Badecata de Bara. In the name of Jesus, I receive him. In the name of Jesus, I receive help. In the name of Jesus, I receive help. La Brea Kotasha. Embradicatosa. Embradicatosa. Eglantusa. In the name of Jesus, I receive help over my head. I receive help over the ministry God has given to me. I receive help over my marriage. I receive help over all the people that are watching right now. Hold on, help them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on, help them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please take your seat. I'm going to be very brief tonight. So, you receive help in the sanctuary through the name of Jesus. Jesus. The help for Monday, I receive it. The help for Tuesday, I receive it. The help on, for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I receive it. Help me so I will not trust men. Help me so I will not go in the way of others. Help me so I can get the best of this week. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me on every side. Help me when men hate me. Help me when men refuse to do what they're supposed to do. Help me so they will know that you alone are God. Help me. Look at it. There came a time of famine in Israel. And the people started killing them, their children to, to eat. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it. They can besiege wherever you are. The word besiege simply means they put hold on it. During, you can say COVID was a besiege. On the wall. Nothing was coming and nothing was going on. Everything stands still. 
until and as the head of a of a cow, Malu, <laughs> was sold for four square pieces of silver and four parts of the cap of a dove, done for five pieces of silver. And now look at what happened in verse 26. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him. He said, You are my leader. I need your help. What is he say? He said, saying, Help me, O oh Lord, my king, help me. Listen, do you know why I said Man, vain is the help of man? Look at how the king responded to her. And he said, the king responded to her, If the Lord do not help you, where shall I help thee? Did you see that? Vain. Your father cannot help you. I know what I'm talking about. Your mother cannot help you. Your pastor needs help. Your bishop needs help. Eh? Anything called human being simply means limitation. The king said, despite the situation that is going right now, you are calling for help. I need help too. That is why I tell people, don't just be taking things for people. Ask them their source and go take your own food there. God is your source. If you know if you befriend the son of a baker, no matter how the bread runs out of the marketplace, it will never, never run out of bakery. So if you are a friend of a baker, if they say there's no more bread, you know, <laughs> remember those things in Nigeria? We are a family friend, there's a street after our house in Okira, Obagudah, Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. You know, they sell bread, they bake bread. So, anytime we know by two, by four, by six, eight, two hours, those times, that's where all the bread are coming out of Ogu. So we are there to buy. You know, sometimes we buy to the give us one more. We purposely go to them to buy. So we don't just eat normal bread, we eat what? Hot bread. There's a place where we live here, yeah, like an hour drive away from where we live. If there's a Nigerian there who bake bread. You know, anytime we go there, we sell bread. My wife said, Don't they have anyone coming out of Bogu? Because that one is a life one, it's hot. You can take it live with, you know, it's a little bread in the US. So. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. What am I saying is that to get the best of life, huh? men cannot help you. Men cannot help you to get the best of life. Only God can help you. Only God can help you. And if God help you, guess what? No man can stop it. He said, how can I help you? He said, God help you. Let me land up tonight. Like I said, I'm going to be very brief. How can you receive God help? Number one, hearts for it. Hearts. Psalm 109 verse 26. Psalm 109 verse 26. He said, help me, oh Lord my God. Help me. I don't know about this. Help me. When I was in Nigeria, I happened to be the only son. And I look at my family. You know, we are good. We have a car. We have a house. My mother doesn't want me to drive. We have a driver that is driving everywhere. But I looked. I said, this is not what I want. I said, no. This is not what I want. I said, Lord, by divine mercy, an heaven's arrangement. Get me out of this country with speed. I prayed this prayer for a complete two years. Anytime there is need in your family and nobody can produce one million naira, it's a trouble. Anytime there is need in your family, nobody can produce five thousand dollars, there is trouble. And guess what? You are listening to this message today because you. Are the one. Help me to look for that scripture. I think it's in the, uh, uh, Ezekiel. He said, one out of a million who will stand the gap for them. God is looking for one person, and you are that person. Look for that scripture. Looking one out of a million. I think Ezekiel text something verse 20. I don't know. Psalm 109, verse 26. He said, Help me, oh no, I need help. I need help. The help you don't ask for, you will not get. 
So the first thing to experience divine help is to ask for it. Ask for it. Lord, help my help. Lord, help me in this education. Lord, make it easy for me. You know, I think I received two masters in three and a half years. The master of divinity. And the other one master of the heart of human resources. And uh, I knew how the way I'm doing it, only God can help me. Because you have to see how what I put myself. And guess what? In three and a half years, we're good. Help from God. Tonight, you receive that help. Amen. As you ask for it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is too big for you to ask will be too big for God to do. God can do it if you can ask it. God can what? Can do it. Say no one stop in the gap for them. That's what I'm looking for. Amen. Amen. Number one, ask for God's help. Then he said, help me. Oh Lord. Exactly my. Yeah. Yeah. My soul sticks, still seeks, but I cannot find one man among a thousand I have found. Yes. But a woman among all these I have not found. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. That is the prayer I want you to pray this week. Help me so I will not be jobless and be the food of my of my enemy. Help me as a man so I will not lose my respect in the home. Help me as a woman so I'll be able to carry out the responsibility that you are putting in my life. Help me. Help me. Ask for help this week and God will show up. Ezekiel 22, 30. God bless you. So I sought for a man. I sought for a man. Among them. Among them. Who would make a wall. Who will make a wall. And stand in the gap before And stand in the gap. You see that? Before, on behalf of the land. On behalf of the that land. That I should not destroy it. That I should not destroy it. But I found no he one. found no one. God wants to release blessing to your family. What is that? Ezekiel 22, 30, right? Yes. God wants to bless your family, but nobody is standing. I'm looking for a man among them who will stand the gap so I will not destroy them. So I will make good my promises in their life. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me round up tonight with the second thing you need to do. Number one thing is to what? Is to ask God for help. Number two, take a secret. Number two is to ask God for rest. Mm. One of the way that you know you have received help is for you to have rest on every side. As a lady, if you receive God's help, you will rest. You will not need to worry who is going to marry me. You know, I got so many messages and I'm looking for husband. No, you don't look for husband as a girl. No. Oh, I wish I can tell you a secret today. Can I tell you? Good lady, don't look for man. When God created Eve, God positioned Eve. It was Adam that found Eve. That's what the Bible said. Whoever found a wife, if you find a man, you will bear it. Because men, we don't know how to love. God just commanded us to what? To love. So what you need to do as a lady is begin to pray. Lord, every man that needs to know you, that are here to know you, like compare them as you, as you, as you encounter Saul. On his way to Damascus, compare every man. Some of you, your husband is supposed to be come to church, is in the club because the enemy has been united. You know, when in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a war, there's what we call strategy to win. Strategy to win is to confuse you, they will redirect you, and they want to attack you here. So, the enemy wants to get to you, they get you to your husband, and you never know. Let's say you are going on the street now and you see a young man blowing cigar. And they say, excuse me, and you're just coming from church. Will you stay? You run. He said, no, I don't want people to know that I'm working with this man. But that is the man that's supposed to be your husband. So you don't pray for God. Give me a husband. No. Lord, let there be an encounter for every young man. Give them what to do. Let them discover their purpose. Let them be running after you. If every man, let me tell you if a man jumped to a woman before he jumped to God's purpose, you will never enjoy that marriage. 
Any man who knows his purpose, who knows God, will treat you right. Will be responsible. So don't just be going and be going by yourself. No. Lord, encounter every young man that's on the street who are there to know you. Because any man, once the age of 16, 17, the mindset of every man change. They say time changes it for them not to follow God. Because they will be looking for how they want to get money to please people. Instead of them to be pleasing God so people can come to their aid. You see, misplay of priority. In the process, they get into so many things. So pray today as a young lady. Lord, give me rest. How? By God visiting every young man in your area. Anyone that are meant to come and talk to you, that are yet to know God. God, let him know God. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 10 to 11. Look at what is there. For he that enter into his rest have ceased from his own work. As God did for his. Verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into what? Into rest. Oh Lord, give me rest on every side. Give me rest. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Oh Lord, give me rest. On the heavy side. Amen. Oh Lord, give me rest on every Give me side. rest on heavy side. Oh Lord, give me rest on every side. Give me rest on every side, oh Lord. Give me rest, give me rest during the day. Side. Give me rest during the night. Give me rest. Don't let me be worried about anything. Let there be peace. Like a river in my life. Give me confidence in you. Let me chase you all the time. Enjoy your rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, When God gives peace, nobody can make trouble. in Job. Look for it. When God gives peace or when God gives quietness, nobody can make trouble. <laughs> you need rest. And I pray that this week is the week of your rest. Amen. This week is the week of your rest. Amen. You will call for one, three will show up. If you come for three, seven will show up. If you come for seven to twenty one, we show up. You will never lack any good thing again in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and just pray for two things. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, give me rest. Pray that prayer right now. Lelu Igabrado Suanta Yabanake to Shendele Bala. Garabo Santa Yabli in the Depoto Shata da Baleta. Rabasia Katu Selembri and Dalasa. Oh Lord. Help me. I give you permission. Help me. Help me. Help everything that has to do with me. Oh Lord, give me rest. 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 Let every trouble that the enemy has fire into my life, into my career, into my spirituality, into my mental capacity, into my body, let it go back to sender. Give me rest. Give me rest. Help me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as many that are connected right now, all over the world, on Facebook, on YouTube, oh Lord, help them. Help them. Let them have an encounter with you tonight, this morning, anywhere around the world. Oh Lord, help me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, give me rest. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, give me rest. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The rest of God eliminates every competition. Put it out. The help of God eliminates what? Competition. Why you are still competing is God has not put your enemy where they belong. The help of God eliminates competition. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. This week is the week of your rest. Amen. And it's the week of your help. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are around the world, you say, hey, Pastor, I think I really need help because I've been trying by myself. It's so simple. Come to Jesus and He's going to help you. And give you rest, not Jesus. I'm all yours. Forgive me. I've come to you right now. I know that the price has 
have been prayed for me on the cross of Calvary, that I might be justified. Right now, my sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become new. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As you have prayed that prayer, begin to enjoy God's help and begin to swim in God's rest. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's time for communion. Please, if you have prayed that prayer anywhere around the world, please help us to click share button on Facebook or on YouTube. Let some people receive this and let them enjoy it in Jesus' mighty name. One thing that the communion does is to make us to live like Jesus. Jesus Christ said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will live by me as I live by the Father. By this communion, begin to enjoy the rest and the help of God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. This is blessed. Turn to be the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, whatever you are using at home for communion is blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hand, everybody, and worship the name of the Lord. Say, God, we thank you. We thank you for the beginning of the three days of divine help. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's offering time. In these 40 days prayer and fasting, we only take offering Wednesdays and Sunday. This offering shall be used for the work of God. Amen. As we give this offering today, God will multiply it back to us in the Amen. This is the offering of rest, mm -hmm. and this is the offering of help. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As you give it right now, may the help of God locate you. Amen. May the rest of God locate you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please cast your seed. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand and begin to worship the name of the Lord God. We thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand and receive the blessing. This day marks the end of your struggle. Amen. God helped Esther. She gave hope to the Jews that live in Shusha. God help Daniel. He does not see shame. God help the three Hebrew boys. The fire could not consume them. God help Mary. He came back to Jesus. This week, God will help you. Amen. Amen. This week, God will help you. Amen. Amen. God will release men towards the way. Amen. Amen. They will help you without expecting anything back. Amen. Amen. And this week, you will... Enter into God's rest. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Struggle, frustration, regret will never be your portion again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the help and the rest of God eliminate shame in your life. Amen. And begin to swim in the rest of God. Amen. And begin to receive help of God for the rest of your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I will say, surely, God's, God's goodness and mercy shall, shall follow us all the days, days of our lives. lives. And, and we, we shall dwell in the answer, answer, Lord, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. I'm stepping up in Jesus' name. I'm going up in Jesus' name. God has given us the command. Next level is our portion. Congratulations. Amen. 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 Give name. somebody a life back. Say, I've received God's help and I'm enjoying God's rest. I've received God's help and I'm enjoying God's